Okay, so we're going to look at a quick uh, video over here on how to um, get the new site wizard up and running. There are a couple of little tricks that you need to be aware of. Uh, we will try and improve this, but this is how it works currently. So um, enter your uh, virtual user password that you set up when you set up your um, AMI and just log into the portal. Um, you're logging in as administrator. What we need to do over here is we need to um, set up a new user that has access to the web content management um, user interface and is part of the portal administrator group. Um, so to do that, we're going to click on the administration section of the portal. And we're going to click on users and groups over here in the access area on the left hand side. Um, if you just click, this defaults to these couple of groups, but if you click search again, um, you should see the, um, the uh, full list of groups that are available. And there are only a couple more there. Um, we can see over here we've got one. Um, I've just been running some tests over here but if for a virtual portal that I created already. But um, if we just go to the WPS admins group, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new user um, to the whole portal. And we're going to um, then... Uh, we'll add them to this group as well so they're a new administrator and we'll log in we'll run that so we'll just call them test um, user um, we'll give them a password obviously make sure you remember the password um, uh, we'll give them name test last name user um, test at nowhere.com okay so that's just a test email hopefully that's not somebody's actual email address so we can now see that in the WPS admins group, we've now added a new user. Um, obviously you could register on the portal as well, but we should be ready to go and, um, to go and actually run the new site wizard now. So actually you need to log out and log in as that new user. So if we um, log in as the new user here, yeah, test user with your password, Get that password right. So we're going to log back in. So we're now logged in over here as test user. Um, if you look up the top of here, you'll be able to see that. Uh, we're logged in as test user. And we're going to hit the uh, new site wizard uh, tab up the top of here. Um, and we'll click the let's get started area on the new site wizard. And we'll see the new site wizard come up. So let's go over here and uh, we'll type in test2, test2. Uh, we can default it to this user's ID. Obviously, you could create a new user if you wanted to. And we're just going to click the next button down the bottom right of the uh, new site wizard. Um, the next thing you can do over here is, depending on the sites that you've installed on your server, and these are the default ones, obviously, you can add your own to this list. So you can save them out as a template. But I'll um, just use the internet template. Um, and I'll then click on, I've chosen the yellow one, uh, look and feel, and I'll click on create your site. Now this will take a few minutes to run. Um, it'll tell me, uh, give me updates over here. And um, once uh, this is complete, we'll be ready to um, access the site. And that's really as easy as it is. So the key thing over here is you needed to add um, that user to the WPS admin group. So I'll just hit pause over here and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so it's a couple of minutes later. I was off doing something else. I've come back over here um, and we can just click on go to my site and everything's uh, ready to go. We'll see the new site come up. Um, I don't know if you noticed before when we went in there and looked for the groups, it would have created a separate virtual portal for this um, with separate security groups so you can get specific access to the people that ha need to be able to um, access um, either the back end of the site or the front end of it. And that's it. So thanks for your time um, and look forward to hearing about your success on Amazon Web Services.